Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand and today's topic of choice is nothing but X-ray wrist. Very important X-ray wrist. Few questions have come. It is a very small topic. We will happily finish it. So we are studying growth and development in that the subtopic is X-ray wrist. You need to know. To know about the X-ray wrist, do we know the carpal bones? Yes or no? Carpals, metacarpals and phalanges? Yes or no? So you know the carpal bones, lateral to medial, the carpal bones are. Any idea? So you know the mnemonic right, she looks too pretty, try to catch her. So I'll just show you one minute of this video where we have explained everything and this one minute will help you in solving 10 MCQs. So please full focus on this one minute video and I'll tell you what the video is all about. So most importantly point number one coming to the carpal bones, lateral to medial the carpal bones are, she looks too pretty, try to catch her. Nothing but scaphoid, lunate, triquitral, pisiform trapezium, trapezoid, capitate and hook of hamid. So point number one, capitate is the first one which comes basically at two months. Can you see that? And everything goes in this fashion. Yes or no? Capitate in two months, hook of hamid is in three months. Okay, leave the pisiform aside. It comes later last nine to 12 years of life. Can you see the video? Then we have two months, three months. Then we have three years, four years around 4 to 4.5 then trapezium and trapezoid can you see the video are you getting it this is the carpal bone like bone age estimation basically you need to know the first one to appear is the capitate and the last one nothing but pisiform again are you understanding that's all about the bone age estimation of this one and okay have you written you can watch this video again and write wonderfully this will cover all the mcqs okay so yes coming to the next point Yes, this part you need to know the first epiphyseal center. The PG question was at which location the first epiphyseal center is there. So always remember which is this bone, which is this bone. Nothing but it's a foot x-ray showing the calcaneum. This is the calcaneum. Yes or no? Can you see calcaneum or talus? So the calcaneal and the talar ossification center is one. And can you see this part, this bone? What do you see? Do you see a femur, distal femur or proximal tibial? So there are two ossification centers. One is this one, the calcaneal, calcaneal and talar ossification center and distal femur and proximal Tibial epiphyseal center are found at the level of the knee. These are the first epiphyseal center that you need to know. Why do we need to know? Because it is there in the PG entrance exam. The question have been asked. So you need to know. Okay. Understood? All good? Perfect. Next. So this is now, this is important. What you need to know is, which x-ray do I need to get done according to the age of the baby? So point number one, if, if a child is around one to three year old, which x-ray would you like to done for one to 13 years of life? We usually get the x-ray wrist, which we just studied. Yes or no? Did you understand? And also extra points are nothing but newborn. Basically, we get a x-ray knee for the bone edge estimation. For three to nine months old baby, I would like to get a shoulder x-ray done. For 1 to 13 year, it is hand and the wrist. For 12 to 14 years, it is elbow and the hip. I'll repeat again. Newborn, knee, 3 to 9 months, shoulder. 1 to 13 year, hands and the wrist. And 12 to 14 years, elbow and the hip. So we do this bone es estimation, then we compare it. The x-ray is then compared with this pile atlas chart and also, we have the Tanner White House method chart. We compare with this that is it normal? Is bone age estimation? Well, like what is the problem? Are you understanding? You need to know that. Okay. So, this is very important, right? Why? Because see, see listen to me. One is bone age, one is chronological age. Like, for example, if I'm a five year old boy, if I am a five year old boy, my chronological age is five year. Okay. You, I, I, like, if I'm not gaining height, I am a case of short stature. I am a five year old, not gaining height. So, you will get the x ray wrist done of mine. Why, why, sir? Why should we get an x ray wrist of yours? Because you would like to see whether my bone age is equal to the chronological age or not. Are you understanding? I am a five year old, you'll get an x ray wrist done, and you will unanswer told by five year what all bones can come. So you will see whether my bone age is equal to my chronological age. Now, one scenario, 
you i am a 5 year old you got a x ray wrist done but my x ray wrist of only is only of a 2 year old baby like a 2 year old whatever bones a 2 year old should have i am having that much only in my x ray are you understanding so my bone age is less then the chronological age i am 5 year old but my bone age is only 2 year old so there are some conditions where bone age is less than the chronological age bone age is equal to chronological age or bone year is more than the chronological age answers of which we'll do in the pre other slides but you just you should have this concept that is the reason we are reading x ray wrist are you understanding very good again now let's solve the question let's let me see how much of how many of you can answer it you order a wrist x ray of a 2 month old child a 2 month old child which carpal bone are you expecting to be present is it capitate is it scaphoid it is lunate or trapezium any idea so she looks too pretty try to catch her an answer told see for capitate it comes at 2 months so answer is a understood perfect very good which of the following x ray should be advised for age determination between 1 to 3 years of age so an answer told that 1 to 3 year of age i think any idea random guesses what obviously we'll get a x ray wrist done because shoulder is somewhere else you know right right so it, it depends on the age so answer is nothing but the wrist are you getting it i hope you are at the end of one year the number of carpal bones seen seen in the sky gram of the hand is how many so one year old baby how many carpal bones are we expecting so she looks too pretty try to catch her see for capitate two months three months yes or no this is the late this is three years so two months and three months my baby is one year old so how many are we expecting 0 1 2 so 1 plus 1 is 2 so 2 did you get it yes or no i hope you got it that's it and first epiphyseal center appears in which one clavicle cuboid ossicles and femur so you read it we have the calcaneal and tanal talar ossification center and we have the femur and distal this tibial so in this option femur is the answer so we'll choose femur did you understand that finishes x ray wrist i hope you understood the x ray wrist in next slide we will see the dentition about the points of dentition this was all about x ray wrist thank you